Hey, what's going on, guys? It is Dives, Mr. Crockpot on Twitter. Welcome to another edition of Sixers Film Room. Today, we're just going to take a quick look at Joel Embiid's performance last night versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's start the, the video here. Uh, what an epic game by Joel Embiid last night. 36 points, 14 boards, uh, 10 of 20 from the field. He didn't hit a three-pointer, uh, three but my goodness, 16 of 18 uh, free throws last night. He actually had more free throws than, than the entire Los Angeles Clippers uh, combined. Uh, that is everything because when you look at Joel Embiid and every time he gets 10 or more free throws in a game, the Sixers are 21 and four. Over the last five games, they are five and zero. Oh. That has happened. Um, you look at Joel Embiid's uh, since returning from injury, uh, 30 minutes per game uh, for seven games. He's averaging 13.4 free throw attempts per game, uh, 84% from the free throw line. That's it. That's it, guys. When Joel Embiid is, is locked in and seeking contact and getting to the free throw line, that's what we're talking about. That is the recipe for a, a major run in the playoffs. Uh, over the last seven games since returning from injury, 60 0.9 true shooting percentage, an offensive rating of 118, and a defensive rating of 104. Let's talk about last night, though. Uh, yeah, uh, 10 of 20 from the floor, uh, less than 10 feet. He shot 5 of 10 uh, from the floor there. Uh, Pull-ups, he was 3 of 6. Uh, didn't do very well in the catch and shoot. He was 0 of 2. Um, let's look at his uh, advanced numbers here. Um, he had. Uh, let's look at uh, defense. So he held defend the. Los Angeles Clippers to four of 10 uh, from the field, one of four uh, from three point range. There was a moment there in the fourth quarter where I thought Joel Embiid uh, on Reggie Jackson on the perimeter was awesome. Uh, he, when you have a seven footer defending on the perimeter, what can you say, man? Uh, he, it's just impressive. This guy is uh, playing out of his mind right now. Uh, he had a net rating of 6.7. Um, he started the game. Let's start to talk about the game here. He started the game making four of the Sixers' first 10 points. He was seeking contact, making fadeaway jump shots. He even drew an offensive foul. He had eight points in the first four minutes. Uh, he finished the first quarter with 11 points, four or five from the field. And then we had that flagrant foul, uh, which was absolutely horrific. Um, probably a worse call there than Alec Bohm not touching first base or a home plate. Come on. Refs, what are you watching here? Uh, but my, it was just a very good game overall from Joel Embiid. Uh, you look at the Sixers in clutch. Uh, they got it done without Tobias Harris. Um, and, and you look at how uh, Tobias Harris is so entrenched as the number two offensive weapon for the Sixers. This game came down to the line and overall just an, an impressive win for the Sixers. Really strong win. What do you guys think of MB's performance? Uh, let us know in the comment section below. How would you grade his performance? Um, is he the real MVP of the NBA? Uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay awesome.